Hi, it's Katrina. From ancient underwater pyramids to Cleopatra's palace, here are eight of the world's most captivating submerged cities. Number 8. Port Royal, Jamaica Port Royal, Jamaica was once known as the most wicked and sinful city in the world. The city's natural harbor was first used as a fishing port by its original inhabitants, the Tainos. In 1494, the Spanish took control of Jamaica with Christopher Columbus having declared it the fairest island eyes have beheld. Despite its beauty, because the island lacked exploitable wealth, including gold, the Spanish paid little attention to it in years to come, focusing primarily on their more profitable colonies. In 1655, under the command of Oliver Cromwell, the English took control of Jamaica after a horribly failed attempt to seize Hispaniola, the island consisting of modern-day Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Located on the southeast Jamaican coast, Port Royal became the hub of English life on the island. At one point, it became the most important trading post and the second largest city in the New World, superseded only by Boston. As the city grew and became richer, it simultaneously gained notoriety as an epicenter of debauchery, pirates, boozers, prostitutes, and degenerates of all types. On June 7, 1692, a devastating 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit Jamaica. The sand that most of Port Royal was built on underwent instant liquefaction, causing buildings, people, and roads to become submerged in the Caribbean Sea. Following the massive earthquake, geysers erupted in the sea. Then, tsunami waves hit the city, causing even more destruction. In total, around 33 acres, or two-thirds, of Port Royal were lost. Around 2,000 people were killed, and four out of the town's five forts were destroyed or submerged. Long dead bodies were mixed with the freshly deceased as Palisado Cemetery, where the infamous Captain Morgan had been buried four years prior, slipped into the sea. According to legend, the inhabitants of Port Royal ultimately lived up to their reputation, taking to looting and violence before the earthquake was over. The superstitious and religious, including the local clergy, were quick to spread various narratives of the event tailored to their beliefs, with most versions containing overtones of the natural disaster being the result of some type of moral retribution that had been sanctioned by God. Basically, they all deserved it for being sinners. Advocates have pushed for the preservation of the sunken city and in 2009 made a submission for Port Royal to be declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, citing the historical value of its remains. Still, most of the lost city lies under 40 feet of water, and it holds a seemingly equal stagnant place on UNESCO's tentative lists. Number 7. Lion City, China Nicknamed China's Atlantis, Lion City, also once known as Xicheng, is arguably the most stunning underwater city. Built during the Han Dynasty and located at the bottom of a lake in the eastern Chinese province of Zhejiang, it was once a thriving metropolis. In 1959, the Chinese government decided to build a man-made lake as part of their plans for a new hydroelectric power station. A dam was built and the historic, economic, and political center was slowly submerged. The newly constructed body of water was named Qiandao Lake and covers the huge, 62 football field sized ancient city in anywhere between 85 and 130 feet of water. For 53 years, Xi Cheng was forgotten about. Recently, it was discovered that nearly every structure in the city remains intact, including wooden beams and stairs, earning it the label of a time capsule. The rediscovered city attracted the interest of archaeologists and a film crew and has since become a tourist attraction. Who wants to go diving there? And now for number 6. But first, if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe before you leave. We'd love to have you around here. Number 6. Pyramids of Yonagunijima, Japan These underwater ruins are located near the Japanese island of Yonagunijima, about 75 miles off the coast of Taiwan. They are shrouded in mystery and have been a hot topic of controversy among scholars since their discovery in 1986 by a local diver. Some researchers, including marine geologist Masaki Kimura, who spent upwards of 15 years diving at the site, believe that the ruins represent a city that sank 2,000 years ago at the hands of an earthquake. Although Kimura originally assumed the structures were naturally occurring, he changed his mind after his first dive and began thinking of the city as a Japanese Atlantis of sorts. Based on his expertise, Kimura estimates the city's age at around 5,000 years old. 
On the other hand, a professor of science and mathematics at Boston University named Robert Scotch maintains that the underwater pyramids were created naturally rather than being man-made, but that they have been modified by humans at some point. To support his claim, Scotch cited the tendency for sandstone to break in straight edges and along planes, especially in an area with lots of faults and tectonic activity. Regardless of whether the ruins were man-made or somehow magically formed on their own, they reached the bottom of the ocean one way or another, but how? According to Kimura, the Pacific Rim is historically famous for huge seismic events. Put simply, the structures were most likely wiped out by a natural disaster. One possible culprit is the world's largest recorded tsunami, which struck Yonagunijima in April 1771 at an apocalyptic height of 131 feet. Meanwhile, national and local authorities seem to want nothing to do with the site and refuse to recognize it as important cultural property. Despite the cold shoulder of government agencies, tourists and researchers can freely explore the site. Number 5. Pablo Petri, Greece Located off the coast of southern Laconia in Peloponnese, Greece, the 5,000-year-old city of Pablo Petri is the oldest submerged lost city in the Mediterranean Sea and one of the oldest in the world. It was discovered by a man named Nicholas Fleming in 1967 and mapped the following year by a team of archaeologists. Despite its age, they were able to recognize a nearly complete urban plan, including streets, buildings, and tombs. After a series of studies, experts determined that the city was likely built no later than 2800 BC. They also concluded that the first in a series of three earthquakes the area suffered around 1000 BC was probably responsible for submerging the city. Because the city remained submerged ever since, it was never disrupted by agriculture or built over, although it's eroded considerably over the several centuries it spent underwater. While the town layout remains the same as it was several thousand years ago, it's at the continuous mercy of the elements, as well as potential damage at the hands of humans, including souvenir hunters, tourists, and dragging boat anchors. Number 4. Baia, Italy Some 1700 years ago, 150 miles south of Rome and 50 miles north of Pompeii, Italy's west coast was host to an upscale resort town known as Baia, which was known for its natural therapeutic hot springs. Kelly McLaughlin of the Daily Mail in the UK described Baia as a Las Vegas for the super rich of the first century's ancient Rome. According to historians, the mansion-covered town was synonymous with luxury and wickedness. During the 8th century, the city was sacked by the Saracens, and by 1500 AD, it was completely abandoned. Then, thanks to volcanic activity, the coastline receded some 400 meters over time and the entirety of Baia was eventually swallowed by water. Its remains are located in modern-day Italy's Gulf of Naples. In 2017, after the city was finally rediscovered, divers were permitted to explore it. They snapped amazing photos of statues, mosaics, and structures that reflect Baia's past opulence and offer a first-hand look at a place that was frequented by ancient Roman big shots, including Nero, Cicero, and Julius Caesar. The remains of Baia are extremely well-preserved and are open to visitors via glass-bottomed boats, snorkeling, and scuba diving. Number 3. Villa Epequen, Argentina So far, we've explored some pretty cool ancient underwater ruins, but what if I told you a much more recently submerged city exists? Villa Epequen was a tourist village established in the 1920s along the shores of Lago Epequen, a salt lake some 600 meters southwest of Buenos Aires, Argentina. During the 1930s, Lago Epequen was the second most salinated body of water in the world, succeeded only by the Dead Sea. Throughout the following decades, tourists flocked to the resort town to bathe in its mineral-rich waters as a treatment for a variety of ailments, including skin conditions, rheumatism, and diabetes. Tourism was also encouraged by the building of a train station, which brought some 20,000 visitors to Villa Epequen every summer. The town thrived for several decades, reaching its peak population of over 5,000 during the 1970s. In 1985, the surrounding hills began receiving much heavier rain than usual, causing Lago Epequen to swell. The salty waters broke through a purposefully built embankment on November 10, 1985, and a slow-growing flood ensued, rising one centimeter every hour. After two weeks, the water was three meters deep. In 1993, the flood reached a depth of 33 feet, or 10 meters. In 2009, the waters began to recede, leaving the town partially submerged. 
The ruins are protected by the Argentinian government, but are open to visitors. In a 2015 interview with British newspaper The Independent, tour guide and former resident Norma Berg described the people of the town packing their belongings and evacuating after waking up in ankle-deep water, under the assumption that the problem was temporary and that they'd soon return to their homes. Although nobody died as a result of the flood, many of the town's former inhabitants suffered severe psychological trauma as a result of unexpectedly losing everything overnight. Number 2. Cleopatra's Palace, Egypt Sometime during the 4th century, the Egyptian coastal city of Alexandria was hit with the double whammy effect of a huge earthquake, followed by a tsunami of epic proportions. An island called Antirhodos was sunk during the process, taking with it Cleopatra's palace and a former wonder of the ancient world, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria. This is reported to have happened a few centuries after Cleopatra's death, and her palace was buried in a small bay beneath 10 meters of murky water. The sunken island and its royal contents remained largely a mystery until the 1990s, when a French archaeologist named Frank Gaudio studied the ancient writings of Strabo, a Greek historian. Intrigued by Strabo's records, and accompanied by a diving team, a determined Gaudio set out to find the lost island, which was ultimately discovered in 1996. Archaeologists found the suspected palace of Cleopatra, along with what they believe is her tomb, and quite possibly the Temple of Isis. While some artifacts remain at the site, over 140 of the most valuable and well-preserved pieces have been removed for museum display, so we can all enjoy them. Number 1. Dwarka, India in the Gulf of Cambay, off the western coast of India, the ruins of an ancient city sit 120 feet beneath the water's surface. Oceanographers from India's National Institute of Ocean Technology discovered the site by chance in 2001 while conducting a pollution survey. Among the debris recovered were pottery, construction materials, human bones and teeth, and sculptures. The salvaged materials were carbon dated, leading some marine scientists to believe that the remains within the 5 mile long, 2 mile wide city could be over 9,000 years old. According to one theory, the melting of ice caps at the end of the last ice age, somewhere between 9 and 10,000 years ago, may have been responsible for submerging the city. Some experts assert that the carbon dating process used to measure the age of the items is not foolproof, however, and could have yielded erroneous results. One thing scientists seem to agree on is that the ruins belong to what was once a port city. In addition to scientific inquiry, the site has become the focal point of Hindu legend. Many worshippers believe that the remains are of a holy city called Dwarka, which was founded by Lord Krishna and subsequently succumbed to the sea, according to Sanskrit literature. To this day, several conflicting theories exist regarding the city's origins and age, but I think there's one thing that people can agree on – it's pretty fascinating. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe and join the Origins Explained family! See you next time! Bye!